Join thousands of content economy professionals spanning broadcast, media, and entertainment right here at NAB Show New York. Ashley within broadcast, joining me is Costa of Telos Alliance. Good to see you. Thanks, Ashley. Yes. So tell me, where does Telos Alliance stand right now in the media and broadcasting world? Right. So Telos Alliance is predominantly known for audio processing and audio solutions. We are very big in radio, and we're probably one of the main named brands as far as like television audio processing. So linear acoustics, Younger Audio, and Nantonka Audio are all part of the Telos Alliance. And you know, it's kind of a really interesting time because. We're now seeing, uh, you know, kind of next generation audio, Atmos and MPEG H really starting to make a presence in the market. There's almost like a user bent up demand because everyone's got this big set at home and since COVID they went out and bought sound bars and all that wonderful stuff. And video's great, but audio is a bit of a disappointment because broadcasters haven't really changed the way they're delivering audio at least for the last 15 or 20 years. I think the last thing was the Calm Act. And all that did was make audio worse because you ended up compressing uh, audio and dropping the whole level down. So now you end up having like a bunch of content where you're surfing the volume on your remote control so you can understand what's being said, right? Now next generation audio, and the great part about this is it's going to change a big part of the problem with audio. You now have uh, you know, the capability to do dialogue intelligibility, so you're no longer surfing the volume or having to turn the captions on to understand what's being said, especially for action films or any kind of film or television show where there's a lot of background noise. Uh, then you also have the ability to uh, have different kind of uh, user presets for personal kind of, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, I guess like things that you enjoy watching. So if you're watching a football match and you don't want to have the commentary from, uh, you know, the Packers, uh, Green Bay Packers, you want the commentary from, let's say, the Dallas Cowboys, uh, you can have that audio instead. Uh, so it's a very personalized experience. You can also adjust things like, you know, when we're sending the audio, we can have multiple language tracks. The rendering device, which is your home sound bar or your AirPods or whatever you're using, will actually determine what audio needs to be put together for your personalized experience. So that's kind of some of the stuff that we're creating at Telos Alliance and allowing vendors and broadcasters to integrate it into their solutions. Uh, we see that as a big part of our market going forwards because, like I said earlier, there's a, a huge bent up demand for better audio. And you know the pictures, the sets, all of that, it's great. But the audio is the kind of disappointing part if you talk to users and actually consumers. What is, what is it that you enjoy least or the biggest problem that you have watching content? It's always the audio. Right. Um, so that's where we see we're going to be able to make the biggest impact, especially you know, for kind of the delivery, file-based audio, as well as streamed audio, whether it's over the top, whether it's apps that you're looking at like Netflix or Disney Plus, whatever. And uh, yeah, we're kind of really excited by that. Yeah, definitely. And so any other trends you're noticing or could you speak any more about your latest developments, what we might expect sure. in the near future? Yeah, uh, I think probably the biggest trend is moving away from appliance-based um, you know, units or processors to software or cloud-based solutions. Uh, there's kind of a, also a push towards using AI to do some of the maybe not creative decisions on your content, but you know definitely some of the workflow stuff. Uh, so determining, okay, well, what audio tracks are there? Uh, converting text to uh, speech or speech to text, changing from one language to the other, and again, that's all stuff that can be embedded in different audio kind of uh, immersive feeds that go to end users. So it opens the door for a lot of you know kind of. Uh, personal uh, experiences to be delivered beyond just you know 2.0, 5 5.1 surround sound and 7.1 surround sound. And did you want to speak any more about what you're currently highlighting here at NAB? Yep, sure. We're highlighting Audio Tool Server, which is a file-based audio processor. We've got our VIP Infinity solution, which is an intercom uh, product that's used for broadcast. The nice thing about that is it's all software-based. There's no matrix, so you can scale it however you need to. 
uh, and then we also have uh, you know our radio products with our audio panels and such so uh, that's our stand and we kind of look forward to uh, you know seeing you guys around absolutely everyone check out their website for more information thank you so much thank you